Okay, what's up guys? So we are here, we're gonna take you for a chest workout for sure, title of the video. So of course we're going that to do that, but I wanted to show you guys my pre-workout meal, kind of what I do pre-workout before I go to the gym. And I'll probably show you my post-workout meal today too, because we're doing a high carb day today. Um, essentially, I don't know, like five or six days ago, we did like three high days in a row. Weight came up from 272 to 281. Then we just did three days on my base diet, which is still like 500 grams of carbs on training days, 300 grams of carbs on rest days. My weight came right back down to 273 today. And today we're training chest, more is arms, then we got legs. So we wanna make sure we're nice and fueled and getting the most out of training because uh, we're staying in pretty good shape pretty easily at this point. So let's get to the pre-workout meal. So we're doing chicken and rice. So we have eight ounces of chicken, uh, 400 grams of rice uh, with some pink salt on there. So you guys, even though it's a high day and I could probably get away with some adding some condiments and stuff, I still don't because I haven't had those in a long time, even like the sugar-free stuff. Because those ones have like sweeteners and stuff that I'm, I'm probably sensitive to now because I just stayed away from it for so long and it's just not the time to be interrupting digestion, causing inflammation and, and things like that. They're going to make me hold water, throw off the accuracy, my updates and all that stuff. So um, we're keeping it tight. So... With this meal, we'll also have two Rice Krispie squares to get another 40 grams of quick carbs in. And guys, obviously, pre-workout meal, there's like no fat in this meal. We want this to digest quick. We're supposed to be training in like an hour. So I gotta get this in me. And before I eat this meal, I take four caps of Jack Factory NOXT. Uh, so Jack Factory pump formula. Again, uh, trying to stay away from sweeteners. So not really drinking too much pump surge or pre-workouts right now. So the pump caps really come in handy. So. Yeah, guys, I'm going to smash this meal, do a little bit more work, try to get it done before I go train. And then we will uh, we'll show you guys a, the workout, of course, and we will show you guys a post-workout meal. So let's take a bite. Good old chicken and rice. Nice and plain and salty. Mmm. Let me try some plain rice. To go with our plain chicken. Cheers, guys. Absolutely miserable. Newfoundland. Supposed to be but at least I got my truck, which I'm fired up on. Alright, guys, we're at the gym. Here to crush chest, like I said. So I just finished up rotating my, my rotating prep brain. Warming up my rotator cuffs and all that stuff. Uh, so hopefully this tech deck opens up now in a second and we get to use it. Uh, I don't know though, this guy really likes to do a lot of sets. Uh, if not, we'll do a cable fly, so stay tuned and we'll see. Alright, we got the tech deck. So on my first working set, we did a few warm-ups. Always got to do most of the warm-ups on the first exercise. So we'll hit two working sets here and then we'll be moving on to a press. So let's go. Okay guys, we're on to this Atlantis chest press, so I'm really excited to use this actually. This is a new piece for this gym. Uh, pretty much came here today to use this. So yeah, just an Atlantis incline. Um, Atlantis makes some of the best chest pressing machines for sure. I love the adjustment points on this. You can adjust uh, like the, le the level of the handles that you push without having to take the weight off and stuff like that, so it's great. Uh, we just did a warm-up set, felt really good. So, now we'll get into a working set. Maybe, I'm still, obviously it's a new machine, first time I use it, so just did two plates aside, felt really light. We'll try three. You know, anytime you're kind of trying to find a weight on your working weight, you want to go into the set thinking it's a working set, but if you do like five reps and it's really easy, you're better off just put the weight down, give yourself another rest, add more weight, and then do a working set, right? <laughs> I gotta feel a little bit.
Alright, so a little light, so we actually, I think I didn't try three. We went up to four, and it's still a little light, so I think what would be perfect would be like four and a 25, so I'll take another minute now of rest, and then we'll be hitting uh, our first working set on this. Yeah, it's a heavy 10, so uh, yeah, I like that. So pretty much just got 10 on that. So what I'll probably do now is take off the 25s for my second set, do a bit of a back off set for the working set. And then I think I want to move on to a, probably a Smith machine. And then I want to do some dumbbells. I got some nice heavy dumbbells here. So yeah, one more set on this, let's go. Nice little back off set, so yeah, that's good. Smith Machine is open. We're gonna take advantage and jump on that bitch. Smith Machines frustrate me sometimes, guys, because it can be hard to line things up correctly, and when you're OCD like me, especially in after 28 weeks of prep, Shot. But anyway, we're good. We got it set up. It felt good. A little warm-up set. So I'm just gonna jump the three plates on this. Part of me is telling me it's a bad idea, but I live for bad ideas. I'm basically just one big walking bad idea, honestly. Got that for 10 guys, I'm very happy with that. This is a pretty heavy smooth machine. And uh, to get three plates on my third exercise, three weeks out, we're gonna be huge at this show. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good, I'm happy. So uh, definitely gonna do a back off set to two and a quarter. And then we got uh, some dumbbell presses coming up next. Yeah. All right guys, flat dumbbell press. I haven't done this in a while, so I figured I'd just go right to the 120s because why well, warm up? You haven't done an exercise in a while, right? <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Guys. I'm really strong. <laughs> it's pretty insane that I'm doing 120s for like my last exercise on a chest day this close to a show. Well, we'll take it. I think the carabs are working or something's working. But uh, that felt good. Gonna do a back off set for the next one though. I'm not gonna get these for 10 again, so we'll back down to 110s for the second set. I just want to finish with a fly. I'd like to do a cable crossover. Something kind of hit like the lower chest since we did a lot of upper chest today. So we'll do that. A little bit of uh, side delt action. Always got to do a little bit of shoulders with chest, you know. Let's go finish up this last cable fly and then move on to shoulders. Yeah. Last set of the chest day. So yeah, just a little bit of cable crossover action here. Uh, I don't got anything else to say. Here we go.
I know I left the hoodie on this whole workout, but we need to do a pump check. Let's see. Oh. Pumps just feel better in prep, especially when you leave your hoodie on or pump cover on. Always tempted to show the shreds, but man, it feels good to leave it on, but we gotta check it out. Not bad, not bad. We got good lighting right here. Yeah. We're okay. Right. What do you guys think? Not bad. Write in the comments what you think of the pump. Thanks. All right, we're gonna go do. Uh, let's go do some side delts. Just do a few dumbbells. Throw a few little DBs around. Finish this shit off. Before I get my ass on the treadmill, let's do it. Guys, we're finishing up this workout, so yeah, I'm just gonna smash a couple more sets of these ladder raises, get my cardio done, and we'll see you at home for the post-workout meal. Well, we got a problem, guys. I burnt my muffin when I was trying to toast it. I took a bite to see if it was okay to eat. It's not, it's disgusting. It just tastes like burnt disgustingness. So anyway, we have my meal, which is eight ounces of chicken, 400 grams of rice, and uh, some zucchini. So instead, I'm gonna have about 300 grams of this, which will be approximately the same calories as that uh, blueberry muffin. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of cashew milk in there with that. Um, and I'll put just some water as well, just to uh, make the cereal. So let's get that going. And there we have it. So yeah, guys, this stuff is delicious. This apple fritter, uh, one from Tim Hortons. Highly recommended if you're an apple fritter guy. Uh, it tastes pretty much identical to it. So yeah, big fail on the muffin, but honestly, I'm excited for the cereal and we get a few more carbs in there, a bit less fat. So I'm gonna go enjoy this, guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm putting out videos like crazy and it's not gonna stop. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So subscribe, like the video, comment, it all helps me out. And uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned for more content. I'm just gonna keep taking you along my bodybuilding journey. Peace out, have a good day.